Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy new year. I know we're three weeks already into 2021, but this is my first video of the new year. It's not really a long video, but I got to get back on track. So here we go. Hope you enjoy. Found this gorgeous um, cased glass or overlay glass Fenton base. It has a different blue on the inside than the outside, and that makes it a cased or overlay glass, which is simply two colors fused together. Fenton has been around for a long time. Actually, it's not around anymore, but for over 100 years, they were in business out of West Virginia, 1905 to 2011. And at one time, they were actually the largest supplier of colored glass in the company. They started off buying blanks, and then they moved into carnival glass, taking kind of um, taking kind of a cue from the expensive glass of Tiffany and Steuben of the day. And this vase is beautiful, great color, great cobalt blue color. I'm going to be asking twenty-five dollars for it. It stands a seven and three quarters inches tall. I saw these at the Goodwill, and I originally found one. I looked around. I was able to find uh, four of them. They're all a little bit different. There's three different designs here. They do say single use only on the bottom and they have a lip here. So I know they probably had had a lid at one time. Didn't really know what they contained. Took them home, did some research. And uh, it was funny, a lot of people had them for sale and did not know what they were. Somebody said maybe they were for medical use or whatever. But once I did some more research and found out they held We Yo Play yogurt, I found them listed all over the place. And they're very in right now for crafts or votives. I saw people on Pinterest using them for all sorts of things, cotton balls in the bathroom and, and whatever. If uh, you go to Pinterest, you can get some really great ideas on what to do with these. They are two and uh, three quarters inch tall. They have a blue decal on them and I'm gonna sell them. They're five inches, uh, five inches, they're five ounces, pardon me. I'm gonna sell them uh, for $8 for the four. I stopped into this um, consignment store. I don't go to very often because it's mostly a um, furniture consignment store, but every now and then they do have other things in there, happen to be in the neighborhood, so I did stop by. And I wanna show you all this dinnerware I talked myself into buying. I got a good price for it. It's pretty much service for 12 with some extra pieces. And I will go through them one by one and show you what I got. So like I said, I was in this um, furniture consignment store and they just had all this beautiful dinnerware. It was $35 for everything here. And I left the store, thought about it, went back and said, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna store all this, but." Somehow, I have a thing for buying really nice um, dinnerware sometimes. So, yep, I picked it all up. The uh, name is Burgund. That's a pattern name, Country Burgund by Goebel out of West Germany. Dates between 1972 and 1979. And I'm going to show you here kind of quickly what I got. I did pick up 12 10 and a half inch dinner plates, and I'm going to be selling those off in sets of four. I have um, a set of 12 of the salad plates, seven and three quarters. And all the plates, or most of the plates, they do show a little bit of utensil wear, but the pattern itself is in good condition and it's really lovely. You can see it has a nice floral design right there and, um, and a brown rim. And like I said, every piece is in near perfect uh, condition, if not in perfect condition. So I did pick them up. I'm gonna be selling the plates. Also, everything I have in sets of 12, I'm gonna be selling off in sets of four. And I think I'm gonna be asking for the salad plates. Uh, let's see right here. I think $15 for a set of four of these. And let me move those over. I have a set of 12 fruit bowls right here. Really nice condition. And nothing wrong with these at all. They don't even show any signs on the inside. I'm going to be asking $25 for a set of four of these. They're four and a half inch bowls. And these I think were the best find of the, um, or the best part of the whole dinner we're set here. These are lug soup bowls. Let me show you. 
These are in perfect condition. These are probably the most expensive um, piece to find in, in all of what I have here. They're six and a half inch, like I said, lugged soup bowls. And I'm gonna be asking $20 each for them, which is really a good price. And let's see, what else do I have here? I have so many of these pieces. I did pick up with the set right here. Let's show you right here. It is a 13 inch oval platter. They also made a 14 inch oval platter. This again is in perfect condition. And for that, I'll be asking $20. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way here. Sorry about that. I have picked up um, a really nice eight and a half inch vegetable ball right here. Great condition. Vegetable ball, I'll be asking $20. It's seven and three quarters. Sorry about that. Perfect condition. Nothing wrong with this bowl at all. So a lot of dinnerware here, folks, that's for sure. I did pick up, let's see, the gravy boat. Came originally with an underplate also. This does not have the underplate. It's just the gravy boat or sauce boat or sauce server as it's called. I'll be asking $22 for that. It's three and a half inches tall. Uh, this is a harvest piece to find out of the whole collection right here. I thought they were salt cellars at first but they're actually brandy snippers. Show you, get a better look at these. They're really cool, they're two and a half inch brandy snippers. Um, I couldn't find anybody selling them online anywhere and even replacements.com didn't have any in stock so I didn't really have anything to go by. So I'm gonna be asking, I think $50 free ship for those and see how that goes. And let's see, last but not least, the salt and pepper shakers right here. Really nice condition also. They have, somebody took good care of them. They put paper in the stoppers right there on the salt. And again, on the pepper one. Nothing wrong with these right here. They don't sell for as much as most of the other pieces actually. Thought they might have sold uh, for a little bit more. I'm gonna be asking $18 for that set. And I was wrong. There is not a last but least, cause I do also have, this is last. Uh, but not least, set right here, I do have the sugar and creamer set. Really nice condition right here. And this sugar bowl right here has a open slot. They also made one without an open slot. And I will be asking $15 for the set. This is a six ounce, three inch creamer. And that takes care of all this beautiful um, West German dinnerware. <laughs> I found this bowl in the Goodwill. It's milk glass, as you can see, and it has a nice cube design here, cubist design, and a crimped top. I've never seen one before. Original, my original thought was it was either Whitehall, Colony Whitehall, or Fastoria, um, but there was nothing on the bottom. There's no pattern or anything to give it away, and did some research, found out that neither company did this crimped top here. I now believe it is Hazel Atlas, even though it's unmarked and it stands six and three quarters and it's, no, it doesn't. It's six and three quarters wide by three and three quarters tall. Really, really nice shape. Uh, I've never seen one like it. There are a few out there for sale, but not too many. And I think I'm gonna be asking $30 free ship for it. A really cool crimped rim there. Pick this up in the Salvation Army. Just a cute little 1992 iron-on transfer by Ragamuffin in the, um, what's it called here? Seed Bunny, Seed Packet Bunny. Show you right there. I think there's only one transfer in there. I don't know why they show two pictures. But I do remember back in the day uh, doing a lot of these iron-on transfers. Seed Packet Bunny, there it is. And I thought somebody might be interested uh, who crafts in having this. You can see right here, 1992 Diana Markham Seed Packet Bunnies uh, for 144. New in the package, couldn't resist it. And I think I'm asking $4 for it. Maybe 10 with free shipping, I already have it listed. Forgot to take a picture of the back, so I'm gonna show you right here. You can see it was made in the USA and the instructions are here, it's unopened. And I remember, like I said, back in the day, I would buy these for my girls and we would put them on t-shirts. 
I picked up this uh, wonderful Depression era vase at the same furniture consignment store that I got all the dinnerware. I couldn't resist it. The price was right. It's Anchor Hocking or Hocking Glass Company. It's that old 1927 to 1933. It's marigold iridescent in the banded ring pattern. It's in beautiful condition. It's an eight inch vase and I'm gonna be asking $20 for it. Thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed the short video and I'll be back again with another one real soon. So thank you very much for watching as always. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, leave me a comment. See you again real soon, bye. Like a peach colored flower, a blue flower, a yellow flower, and a little pattern on it and some, um, and some yellow. Label. Fenton, um, Burr.